What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we're going to talk about gunbuck weapons. Yes, gunbuck weapons at Platinum in the top 25%. Are they usable? And the answer is very surprising. And of course, the answer is yes. Yes, it is. So, that is super awesome. I think that's great. I think that it brings a lot of parity into basically what you can use. I also use Wasp, which is not a Gunbucks weapon, but uh, sue me. I tried to use other things like um, Lifestealer. It didn't work out very good. But it's okay, because we are going to be using the um, Scout and um, Remedy right here. You do have to do a little bit better. You have to play a little bit better. But luckily, you are able to do quite a bit of damage with this Remedy. And it is a good shotgun. So, basically, it's not going to be as good as some of your other Fragment or Gold Guns like a Porcupine. But it's good enough to use. And that is huge. Because it hasn't been in any of our last updates. This one really brought a lot of things together. It made other things like the Trader a little bit better. And basically just made it to where the guns you start out with and you can get without having to farm for months and months um, are basically usable. And I think that is a great thing. So, I mean, it's not the best gun in the entire world, but like I said, it can actually work, and that is huge, I think. So, right here, the guy kind of, like, confuses me and himself, so luckily we are able to get his armor down, but he does end up killing us, doing a great job himself, using a bunch of things that also take gun bucks. I don't know if he's also playing gun bucks only for fun. But either way, it doesn't matter because a lot of people are. As you can see, the guy in front of me also had a remedy. And this is not uncommon to see right now. People playing with that, like, pure gunbuck weapons. And I think that is awesome. Um, in my opinion, remedy probably works the best of them. But I mean, there are other options. Um, the brawler also works pretty good, too. Um, I've been using that a lot with things like um, the uh, wasp and basically rushing with the second loadout with that but right here you can do with pretty good range and do a lot with that remedy and then try to do your best to get some damage with the uh, scout which is also gunbucks weapons so honestly i think that gunbucks weapons are by far in the best state they've been in a long time even if i can't shoot for my life but we do end up getting somebody at the end. We get them both pretty low and our teammates clean everything up for us. So we are doing pretty competitive. I do spawn. And like I said, you get some pretty good range with this thing. And we are able to go get that double kill off of that. And we're going to keep trying to go. We do end up getting flashed by his pants. But it is all good because like I said, we are doing our thing. We're getting kills and we are doing it all with those gunbuck weapons, which is the most important part. And I am loving it. Um, I do think that there are a lot of weapons other than the remedy that are good. Um, you're probably going to be better off using different guns than it, like uh, Porcupine, Joker, Dolores. And I'll be going over all the shotguns in other videos. But I did want to come out and show, hey, these guns are good right there. I completely screwed up. That had nothing to do with the guns. That's just me being terrible. But it's all good because we're going to rush straight out and try to do what we can. We're using our scout, again, a gun buck weapon. And just doing some work, getting some pretty good damage there. We have a guy on our team using a rochi with a scorpion, so... No one likes him. He has no friends. But that's okay, because you don't have to have friends. But, <laughs> but we are going to rush behind him and do some work with our Remedy, getting another double kill. That's like the third or fourth one of this game. And we are just killing it, and it is so cool to actually be able to play in the top 25% of Platinum with Gunbucks weapons, something that I don't think you could have done. And I mean... That is a very special thing right here. For whatever reason, I couldn't switch my weapons. But it doesn't matter because we are going to go out and get this game sewn up right here. I'm going to just try my best to be able to play and get both of them flashed. Right here, I'm getting shot. I'm trying to find that guy I flashed. I can't. It's all good, though. We're going to try to wait for him to rush us, and thank God he does. We are going to get some of our shots on him. We do get that kill, and we're just going to try to stay alive, be able to get our team to win that game for us, and we do. And this right here has been using gunbuck weapons only, guys, and we did best in the top 
there are other people with Rimby as well. It wasn't just me. And on the other side of this coin is going to be Wasp and Lifestealer. This is another combo you can run. And luckily, these people are in the bottom part of Platinum. So it's a little bit easier because of the reset. And me being sick, so I haven't really been playing. So this one is a little bit easier. But about what you can expect if you are in the gold leagues so we are going to run around and use the wasp for speed and be able to use our uh, life stealer and just try to use what we can we're going to have our throwing knives to try to help us out a little bit and get some damage on these guys we are going to end up having something like an icebreaker as our sniper but since this is a video about gold uh, or gunbuck weapons rather we're not going to use it just gonna have it. So that is what I would use with this combo is something like an icebreaker or an instant shot sniper. But right now we are going off and doing what we can. We're just trying to get them low enough to be able to hit them with that um, knife and get that throwing knife off. Be able to get those kills and it is working out pretty well i am actually a big fan of this combo i love life sealer i think it's fun and just really good to use and now the uh, assault rifles are a lot better because the shotguns have gotten a little bit worse but not really that much worse it's just making it where assault rifles are possible to use and we are going to want to give him as little bit of time to react as possible using our brawler as speed to get there as close as we can before switching to the gun we're going to shoot with right here we're dancing around their spawn trying to give ourselves a chance because they are going to spawn there with that spawn shield and we don't want them to know exactly where we are and we want to try to get that little bit of uh, edge on them with the surprise so that's why we were running around the van and we're going to just keep being as proactive and going in their spawn as much as possible we're able to do a lot putting pressure on them and being able to take them out pretty good life stealer is actually a lot better than people think and it's a really fun gun to use at least i think so and if you can get those headshots with it it can do a ton we're gonna go in here go ahead get that double kill and go and try for more luckily for us we are able to do pretty well with it we're gonna do again just do Doing our best to keep that little bit of surprise we see him there and we are able to run up there hit him with the grenade get him low enough for our team to take him out and we are going for more of course after we respawn our teammate does end up taking that guy out for us but we get him low for him and right here we are pretty screwed with a ton of people everywhere luckily we get him low enough for our teammates to be able to respond and help us out this guy is kind of like floating on air which was kind of neat but he ends up taking our teammate out we do get him and luckily we are able to take him out there with that grenade and we're just rushing with our brawler and this can be a good second loadout uh for rushing one with your scout and then one with a brawler with something like a wasp and we do really good getting first again and I want to thank you guys for watching this. Let me know how your Gunbuck Weapons experiences are going as well. Tomorrow we will have a video going over more shotguns like Dolores and others. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you so much my channel members. And I'll see you next time.